All right, guys, uh, Roxley here. I'm gonna, just going to be making a quick tutorial on how to uh, edit some CVR files to uh, fix whatever Bungie did with the recent update with Beyond Light releasing. Uh, so if uh, we are going to be doing some CVR's, uh, .xml file editing. Uh, if you guys aren't comfortable with that, it's totally fine. Uh, on the Bungie.net website, on their help forums, they uh, include uh, tutorials on how to change... Uh, how to change stuff in the CVARS file anyway. So this is totally legit. Don't think you're like hacking the game or anything. This is this is totally fine. So first thing we want to do is come down to here on your search bar and you want to type in uh, percent app data uh, percent. Then you want to open it up and you want to scroll through this. You want to find Bungie, which is right here for me, and then Destiny PC. And then preferences. Now you should find uh, right here cvars.xml. .xml file right here. You want to right click on it and go to edit. It's right below open at the top there. So you want to edit. And I know you guys can't really see this very well, so I'm going to uh, push it up a little bit just so you guys can see it. Now, first thing we want to change here is going to be. Uh, gamma control. So this is to fix the lighting changes that they uh, brought into Beyond Light. A lot of people are complaining about it, saying that, uh, you know, kind of looks like a Call of Duty montage. So first thing, uh, yours should be at three. You want to change it to one. So I already changed it here. All these settings are already changed for me. Uh, gamma control value of one. So that's the first thing we're changing. And then we're, we are going to find the next thing is a low latency mode. Uh, value uh, instead of two that it's at you want to switch it to uh, zero yours might be set to one might be set to set to two change it to zero seriously this will help you out uh, with your uh, shots registering again uh, that's another problem that uh, people have been complaining about everyone thinks that you're, they're just absolute ass right now at the game but it's actually because of this so what happened was uh nvidia released a uh new <laughs> i guess uh i guess a new profile i guess you can call it or a new thing where it's called nvidia reflex it's supposed to be ultra low latency mode in the game but destiny 2 is just not optimized for it and it absolutely screwed everything up so you want to set this value to zero and that will seriously help you with actually uh your shots actually registering and everything so the next thing we want to change this is the final thing nothing super super special you want to change all the way at the bottom. It's a mouth, a mouse smoothing mode. Uh, the value you want to set it to is zero instead of the uh, two that it's at. So change it to zero, and that'll uh, fix any mouse smoothing you'll have in the game. Uh, for some reason, this is default on for some strange reason. Uh, there's a lot of things you can actually do in this menu. Uh, for example, one last thing, if you guys are interested, uh, you guys should find right here, interact value F shift. You can actually, uh, you can actually change this to anything you want. So for example, my interact key is on F normally, but I also put it to shift and shift is my sprint key. So you don't have to change anything. You can actually hold down sprint and you'll revive someone. It's extremely nice. So you can also do that. It's very, very, very nice. So it's up to you whether or not you guys want to change that too. But those are all the things that I would recommend changing in the CVARS file. So at the end of it all, you want to go to File, and then Save. You want to save it, and then exit out of it, and you're done. So then you just open up the game, like this. Should open up here in a second. I got a lot of things on my uh, PC running right now, especially recording, so this might be a little bit slow. Yep, there it is. Should open up. Doesn't fuck anything up, so don't worry. Should be good. Uh, I can't fix the problem that the game has been having uh, starting up right now. Uh, that's the uh, freeze problem for some reason. For some reason on startup now, it actually, your game's like starts freezing when you're flying in somewhere. Uh, but that only happens on the initial startup of the game. It doesn't happen uh, throughout the game, so don't worry about that. See, so you didn't screw up my frames or anything. Still getting a massive amount of frames. 
So right here, you'll see a mini freeze. So right there is what I'm talking about. So I'll like pick a character and it'll freeze for a second. See that? Starts freezing for microseconds. Right there too. Then I'll fly into Europa, for example. You can you can tell by the uh, gamma control of my game that the game looks a little bit different than yours. If you if you want to try this out, this is what the game's gonna look like. So I'm flying over to Europa. I'm getting a little bit of mini freezes. That's exactly what I was talking about. This has been happening for a lot of people that I know. Uh, this wasn't because I changed the settings or anything, so don't worry about that. This has been happening since the release. So it's gonna do a couple mini freezes, and then it'll be back to normal in a couple seconds. A little bit of frame rate dip and then I try to move around. It's frozen for a couple seconds. And then it'll be back to normal. There we go. So this is what the game looks like now. Looks a lot better than what the gamma was set to before. In my opinion, anyway, uh, before it looked like a Call of Duty montage. It wasn't. It looked like really, really saturated. It wasn't very fun to look at, you know. So this is what I would recommend setting it to. Uh, I wish I can show you the latency, uh, latency issues, but that's very, very hard to uh, show an example of. I would recommend uh, playing a little bit before and then playing a little bit after in the in the Crucible, and you'll notice the difference immediately. Anyways, that's uh, that's the tutorial. Anyways, um, oh, one more thing I should probably show you guys. Uh, so, when you are setting up that file, by the way, uh, so percent app data percent. You want to open it up, like I said before, Bungie, Destiny PC, preferences, and then. Uh, when we get to the C bars file, you want to make a shortcut. Uh, so let me see here. I already made a shortcut. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's right, right down here. You want to create shortcut. You can actually uh, move it to your desktop like this, so you never have to go to. Uh, I already made a shortcut on my other monitor, but this way you never have to. Uh, you never have to like uh, go through all of uh, this mess again to try to find uh, where the CWARS file is again. So that's another tip right there. And uh, hopefully you guys have fun messing around with this. See you boys.